Hello everybody, welcome to my theater. This is a, a theater that I built around 20 years ago, and but just recently I redid all of it, repainted, finished some things that I never did before. The theater itself is a 12 foot wide by 24 foot. We have <clears throat> the riser, the stairs on both sides. I have the six recliners. Um, they're not expensive recliners. <clears throat> Everything that I bought um, here for the theater, I, I did as inexpensive as I possibly could, but to keep it as nice as I possibly could. Okay, so I have two 4K Blu-ray players. I have the Samsung and I also have the Sony. The Sony wasn't very good at streaming. I had a lot of issues with it. But I did need the Sony to do to be able to play my Super Audio CDs and my DVD audios where the Samsung doesn't play those. I also, I picked up a Toshiba HD DVD player along with like 40 discs for all for about $60 so I decided why not Let, let's just have that um, capability of playing those um, discs and, and uh, having that player then down below I have the 4k Joey from Dish Network and then the main receiver is the, the Pioneer Elite 701 which it is a $1,500 receiver if you buy it locally. I picked this one up. It's a manufacturer refurb that I got for like $800. Most of the stuff that I buy is refurb. Like the Samsung was a refurb, the Sony was a refurb. Um, I like to save money by buying refurbs and I've very seldom had any issues with the manufacturer refurbs. Um, I love this Pioneer. It does an excellent job. It's it has the nine amplifiers, um, so I did have to use a, a separate amplifier for the two other channels because I am running at 11.2. It's a super nice amplifier. Very very happy with that receiver. Then down below that is the Xbox One which I don't really play too much, but I do have it. And then down below is the, the two channel stereo amplifier that powers the rear two speakers, surround speakers. And then down below that I have a an equalizer that I use just for the subwoofers, just for easy control, um, volume control for up and down on the subwoofers. I've been into home theater for many, many years. Um, started out back in, oh, probably 1989-ish um, with the purchase of my first um, television, Hi-Fi Stereo VCR. That thing was awesome. It also did the Dolby Stereo but the Hi-Fi was 10 times nicer sounding than the Dolby Stereo. I don't know if you guys remember back that far. Um, from there, I progressed up to a Dolby surround sound processor, and it was just an amplifier that powered the, that did the processing and powered the two rear channels. Um, I believe, if I remember correctly, the two rear channels on that, um, Dolby Surround, it hard mono, but it was so awesome to have that, that surround sound. Um, then from there, in about 1991, I bought my first ProLogic receiver, which added the center channel to my current system, which was the Dolby Surround. Um, that was a really cool um, addition. Um, later, um, in what 97 I bought my first DVD player it was a Panasonic A300 that had the 5.1 channel RCA outputs 
So I was able to run my three stereo receivers. At the same time, I had to adjust each one of them, the volume was separately on, on each one of them every time I wanted to play a movie, but I was able to get the true 5.1 sound that I never had before with the ProLogic. That was so awesome. Then, through the years, upgraded again and again to the Dolby, uh, Dolby uh, Digital, PL2, uh, DTS, ES, um, all the way up until now that I have a complete 11.1 Dolby Atmos receiver sound system that you currently see here. All of my speakers, except for the four overhead channels, are do-it-yourself speakers that I made from actually Radio Shack tweeters and Dayton Audio five and a quarter mid-range speakers. Um, the center channel has two five and a quarter Dayton Audios as well as an overhead tweeter that's up on the ceiling. Everything, all the all the speakers in the room are identical. Back behind the columns on the wall are the exact same speakers, which is the Radio Shack tweeter and um, the Dayton Audio five and a quarter mid-range. More like 30 years ago is when I first built my speakers, my main speakers that I use currently in this theater. Also, about 10 years ago, I built my two subwoofers, they're 15 inch Dayton Audio. They were the Quattro single voice coil four ohm woofers, uh, subwoofers that I used in the boxes. I love them. I initially tuned the boxes to, if I remember correctly, it was like 18 hertz. It didn't sound really, it was great for movies, but it didn't sound really good for music. So I actually retuned them a little bit higher. I think I'm about 23 hertz, if I remember correctly, to where they're turned, tuned right now. And they sound beautiful for music, still really good for, for movies. Sometimes I would like to go a little bit deeper, but it shakes the house nonetheless and sounds really good. So I'm, I am very pleased with them. Um, as I was saying, all my speakers, except for the tweeters, are Dayton Audio. Um, the uh, overhead channels, the four overhead channels, are also Dayton Audio. For projection-wise, I have the Optima UHD 60. This one also was a refurb that I picked up for around $1,300. I love the projector. It does an excellent job. I have been a member of the Home Theater Forum and the AVS Forum for many, many, many years. I'm one of the one of the first few um, on the Home Theater Forum. Um, I think back in 1997 is, is when uh, I uh, first signed up for that. My username is Wes. I haven't been active on there for many years. I've been really busy with with my business and, and uh, um, just kind of fell away from the whole forum thing. But um, I uh, have experimented a lot over the years with different sound setups. Um, um, back when Dolby was first playing around with the, the overhead channels, um, I created an overhead channel by adding a ProLogic receiver to my 5.1 receiver um, to power up the overhead channels and that was really cool and it actually did work. Um, the Dolby Atmos definitely takes it up a notch over that though um, with the actual four channels and actual dedicated you know, channels of that. Um, it's been fun playing around with audio. It, it's a hobby of mine. Um, has been for many many years um, 
I was fortunate to be able to build this theater, um, take the room in my basement, um, this to be able to build this theater. My wife really doesn't come down here, so it's pretty much just my my own room. She has her own um, LG flat screen with TV upstairs with a 5.1 setup as well. Um, but this here is pretty much my room where I can watch movies, listen to multi-channel music, and uh, just get away from the world and all this virus stuff. I'm um, able to stay down here and keep away from the rest of the world. Okay, for my software, my movie software, I have these HD DVD movies that I picked up for really cheap. Then I have um, all my music, my um, Super Audio CD, DVD Audio, um, concerts. I love listening to music down here. Multi-channel music is my favorite. Then I have a whole bunch of Blu-ray movies. And then down at the bottom of the shelves is my collection so far of 4K movies. And then also some vinyl that I have. I do not have a turntable at this moment. Maybe someday I'll be getting one. My remote that I love, I like a hard button remote. I don't, I don't like screens. I don't want to have to look down at the remote to see what I'm doing. This is the, uh, I believe it's a Philips remote. Um, it's learning, it has learning capabilities, macro capabilities, it operates all my equipment. I love this remote, you can pick them up Amazon, I think even Walmart had them there for a while for about 20 bucks. Love this remote. Um, a lot of people, probably most people use Harmonies. I'm too cheap to buy a hundred dollar plus Harmony. Um, this remote works perfect for me. It even controls my lighting. which is a Lutron um, light switch on the side of the room. That's, it, has, it comes with a remote that I was able to learn in here. Um, it controls all of my equipment. On, that, on my front left speaker, you've probably seen the pyramid. Um, that's an IR repeater, which bounces back to my equipment off to the back right hand side of the room. So I don't have to point my remote backwards, I just point it up towards the screen to control all my equipment. And it works really good and it's a fairly inexpensive system. Alright, um, cost wise of this home theater here, um, I was able to build the room out myself, did all the um, sheetrock work, everything myself. Um, the walls are 2x6 walls with staggered studs, um, half inch sheet of soundboard, and then the half inch um, sheetrock um, on all the walls and also the ceiling. With And building the platform, um, all the equipment that you currently see in the room, I'm probably upwards around 12, 10 to 12 thousand um, dollars to have built exactly what you see right here doing it myself 